Anyway, let's see what else we can find. All right, here we go. Okay, so we're coming over here to the back side, and I spotted something on the shelf. Actually, I'm spotting two things now. But this is really cool. This is all hand-painted. It's actually signed by the artist, too. Beautiful, beautiful Norwegian folk art. And oh, there it is, made in Norway. Oh, it's a nice little storage box. This little trinket box, whatever you want to use for. $3. Yeah, that's a no-brainer. I'm going to pick that up. Let's see. This is really pretty. It does have a seam. This is flash. You can actually see it. But it's really pretty. The marigold color for $8. I think this is a Jeanette, if I remember right. Yeah, Jeanette marigold. So, it's really pretty. If it didn't already have some loss on it, I would have picked it up. So it's very cool. Look at the pottery with. Look at that. It's 155. Aren't those pussy willows? Oh, uh, I have a clue. Well, I know, it's not cotton. It looks like, you know, the pussy willow branches that get little fuzzy things on it. Uh huh. Well, up north where I grew up, that's what it had. But this is really pretty. Oh, it's made in Canada, 1915, Canada. Oh, look at this. This is pretty. Let me... I don't know much about this one, guys. Let me check it out. Let me see. Oh, it has a schnutz. It's about to pick it up because there's not a lot of items that are on um, the internet right now that it's this size with the um, Pussy Willow um, pattern on it. But that is super cool. Super great. All right, oh, look at the old vintage lures. $35, that's not a bad price. There's some really good lures in there for deep sea fishing. Some of those can go for hundreds of dollars. It's corn who made them. Oh my gosh, this thing is so cool. I would so put this up in my house. Wow, how cool is that? It's definitely 60s. And it's super cool. Still has its cloth cord. It's more 50s. Yeah. Ooh, look at this. And she signed. $7.95. Monet. Oh, it's a frame print. It didn't look like a print at first. It's very pretty. It's really cool. They have. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to slow down. But. Oh, that's a cool lamp up there, too. That's pretty cool. Oh, this is, this is the one. The sitting room. It's a great sitting room. What is this? Vintage bookend mail holder. Oh, that is super cute. Oh, it's signed too. Hold on. Let me see. So it is Rome, New York, U.S. patent designed. Let's see. It's not saying. Oh, it's a Revere. Really? Hmm. For $10. I can clean all this up. I wouldn't, I wouldn't buff that copper if you made me to. Let me, um, mm. oh, okay, I have to look this up, guys, sorry. So this is a vintage Revere coil bookender so it's this is what's cool about it actually rolls out as you put the books into it how cool is this this is ten dollars um there's a few of them that are listed well very few there's like there's like two maybe three and they're listed for over a hundred dollars so that right there is a no-brainer so we're gonna grab that it's cool <laughs> all right let's see what else we can find guys, right, guys so we're gonna head down this way um, thank you. I love when Brian or, oh, no. hold on guys. <laughs> I totally got lost. Oh my gosh. Look at it. Oh, it's $45. Oh, if you know anything about me on all my other YouTube videos, I love boats, especially copper boats. 
kind of carved out just a little bit. Not a good one, though. Not a very good one. Um, let's see. Oh, look at this. Look at the little Bisque dolls back there in the back. It's great. Oh my gosh, I love the look at the boat. $22. That's a really good price on that police boat. That is super awesome. There's a nice inkwell over here. Look at that. Look at the inkwell in the back over here. Any other time I can get my finger in the scope from where I'm pointing now. Oh, these are cute. Oh, that's a nice amethyst piece. Oh. These are hard to find. These are all the glass ones. Let me just see some. Oh, somebody tore off the, the old sticker on that. And feeling it, it's definitely not anything. These guys are cute. Look at these. These are so cute. Um, let's see. Mr. and Mrs. Claus, 1946. $4. Hmm. They look like they're... Um, made uh, artisan made not from the actual mold I think they're a repro five dollars I caught my eye it was actually this one it's made in Taiwan it's just very cool Let's see what else she has in here for Christmas ornaments little silver balls Oh, these are nice. The Mother of Pearl. Check those out. Mother of Pearl. Oh, these are pretty, actually. What Christmas ornaments do you have, Ave? I don't know. I showed you a box, but, but I haven't seen them in so long. So, we're decorating Ave's house for Christmas. So that my house looks less gaudy. I'm just going to get his going really good. <laughs> I, am, I am worse than National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I cannot help myself but to... Tons of Christmas. Oh, look at this. Look at the coin. Did you see the coin um, belt? It's missing the main one in the center, though. There's some glass over here. There's a couple of brooches over here, too. Hold on. Interesting. Oh, that's so pretty. A fairy world. What we got? Hmm. Now. This one here. If I remember right, is made. It's either Mexico or China. Yeah, eight dollars. This was made in China. It's a really cool pattern. It really is. Nice little piece of case glass. But there's a difference in the quality of it. Now this pelican is pretty cool. Pelican is pretty cool. But again, let's see. He is yep made in China. Yeah, they're made in China. Um, I mean, he's super cute, super cool, oh, no. but hmm, unfortunately, he has a schnutz at the top of his head, right there, nice and sharp. It's very hard to see, but you can feel it. Now, it's funny. Everybody else finds Jack in the Paul really boats nice except piece. for me. That's a nice piece, and that owl's a nice piece. Now, uh, that right there is beautiful. This is. Sends in Bavaria, $60. That's a very beautiful piece. Look at this, guys. No, nope. I've got it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. I've gotten pretty good with the one-handers. <laughs> the owl in the back is pretty cool. He's $200. That's well out of my, my range. Definitely retail. Good price on it, though. Really is. So... There's a snow baby collection. 
Oh, look at this. Here's your fireplace. Yeah. Okay, guys, you will not see this, Mario. Really like that new purse you got. Yeah. Thumbs up if you like his purse. <laughs> it's a coach bag. <laughs> and we aren't going to tell him any different. <laughs> Let him believe that. Sure. Like most of the women in the world that carry one around think it's a real coach. <laughs> mm. I know. I have one. And I love it. <laughs> mm. These are really cool. I wanted to see. There's one piece in here. I oh, love him. Look at this. Hey, there on the leaf. So cute. The little flowers are all good. Just absolutely adorable. Look, oh, wait, hold on. I'm trying to get it to focus, but my hand is not allowing it, so I'm going to do it that way. How about that? Look at that. Isn't that adorable? What's the price on that? Itsy bitsy. Six dollars. Oh. If Follow That Bug was here, who has a YouTube channel, and if you haven't gone to see her yet, you should. Cat's amazing. If it's kitschy, she knows what it is. Phenomenal. But I would say that's pretty close to retail by the time um, with Etsy's fees and me shipping it, everything else, it's going to be dead on to that price. But that is so cute. I mean, that's so cute. Had a little bit more room in it, I would get it. Mm, cute little trinket dishes. Nice tiara. Really pretty, actually. Mm, the other thing that's collected in our house is wood ducks. I have a thing for hand carved wood ducks. Oh, Harry Potter. Lego character. Magical world. And it has the Harry Potter in it. Huh. This is kind of cool. Asking $7 for it. I like Harry Potter. I have to look at that. Oh, look at the Winnie the Pooh. This is like the older version of Winnie the Pooh. Did you see this? There's corduroy. Oh, super cool. Bell <coughs> dish. You alright? Mm -hmm. If you need something to drink, they have stuff up front I can grab. Oh, look at the old accordion. Do you play? <laughs> He has a collection of old, oh my gosh, poor Santa. Poor Santa, he's losing a, he missing an arm. <laughs> His wife must have been driving earlier. <laughs> oh, look at the Amco one. Oh, he's super cute. He's in the right vehicle, too. <laughs> Love that car. Chevrolet 1957 Corvette. Very nice. And for $18. That's actually a good price because it is metal, metal, cast iron. $18, it could be yours. Or not cast iron, cast metal. Sorry. Actually, that's that's the one right here. Oh, the Hot Wheels. I don't 30 know. bucks. Yeah, it's Hot Wheels, yeah. Oh. But that's here's the thing. Stuff. There's different Hot Wheels. What's the date on it? And who made it? I, I'm sorry, but I like the ones that are the old Hot Wheels that are American made. I just do. I'm weird. I'll admit to it. What's this? Oh, it's a nice Harley hat. How much is that? Ten dollars. She got all of her tags right there in the front. That's pretty cute. Little Harley pig. 
It is a nice Harley hat, though. I'd have to get that and get it for me. Some helmets. Hmm. All right, we're gonna pop out of here and go to the next, whoa, hold on. Oh. It's a nice little trinket. Do you see the camel one? It's kind of cute. $10 though, it's pretty, not much room on that for uh, making any money. Yeah, I saw that, but I would rather go to Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars, what year are these? These are 2014. It doesn't have Grogu in it yet. This is a oh, nice Did you see the, uh, the stocking? No, that's what I was showing to you. Oh. That's the old version over there of the um, Winnie, Pooh Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. That's actually a nice Winnie stocking. Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> it's about all I know. <laughs> are you backing out or are you pulling forward? I'm backing out. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> okay, let's see if I find some else. All right, my favorite section old vintage clothes and jewelry. This is something I like to do. I nice Sarah Coventry down there. There. Mm. Some nice pieces in here. I have to get a key for a couple of pieces. Oh, hold on. I'm coming. For what? Okay, you gotta wait for me to get up there. Oh, those are made in Mexico a long yeah, time I know. ago. I know. Um, and they were brought in. Yeah, um, that's what I said. It's very then, similar to the one I have. In the 90s, yeah. From Mexico. They're really good price. But what's really nice, actually, is him. Now, he is cool. Because he is, well, I mean, he's $100. 100 bucks, yeah. And he's a good price because that would be about right. He's cute, too. I don't usually come into this one because the prices are usually up in price. <laughs> you know your, your children that you take into the store and you tell them, don't touch that. <laughs> that's the Japanese one. Which one? That one right there. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I like that. All right, so some of these are, oh, there's an elephant one. Eight dollars. Hmm. It's not bad. Oh, look at that peacock, guys. Oh, did you see this? That's kind of cool. Opalescent, the oh. yeah, carnival yeah. glass one for the toothpicks. Toothpick holder, yeah. Yeah, that's really cute. That is a nice one. How much is it? Oh, I don't know. I forgot. I put it down. Eight dollars. Yeah. That's right about. That's not bad. It's retail. It's right about retail. Oh, look at the Waterford. Wow, that is Times Square. Could you um grab that one for me? I could. <laughs> being short and being around him is not fun. Let me tell you, ladies. Let me tell you. So I had Avery put it back because at $40 and it's only listed for $25. So it's definitely out of the price range. Um, some really pretty blue glass down here. Oh, look at this. Did you see this? Oh my gosh, this is so cute. And not old or glass. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm going to quit and I'm going to go home now. <laughs> oh, I love these. Oh, we have one at home. An old syrup dispenser. Oh, look. And that cute stove it is so cute. Oh my gosh. I remember the one I had when I was a kid. I was always cooking mud pies on it. And I probably just put that on video. And yep, I sure did. I am all fingers today. 
thank goodness it's only been with plastic. This is a better one though. It's super cute. Well, I think you can actually cook in that one. Absolutely. Watch the glass piece. I think piece, you can yeah. actually cook in these too. No, those were children's, hun. But you still could cook in them. You would cook in them, but the rest of us <laughs> wouldn't. Oh, he is cool. Hold on. Oh, he just has a ribbon around him. It looked like he was uh, a different color, but I, I was in here last time, so she put everything into the into this nice case. Now it's really pretty, or he or she, whichever. It looks really nice in the case, actually. Very nicely done. Oh, look at these guys. <laughs> Oh, how cute they are. Oh, my gosh. These are Camelot dolls. And they're so cute. Oh, that's a cute little head. Look how cute she is. Twenty percent off. There's twenty percent off in this booth. What's hiding underneath the shelf, and why is it hiding underneath the shelf? <laughs> that is really cute. For ten dollars. Hmm. Well, it's um. Oh, hi. Hi. I'm going to take a look at this one. Oh, wait, it's not sitting underneath of the floor over there. Hmm. This looks like amber. All right, we're gonna keep going. So there was a lot of people in here and I didn't want to disturb anybody. I found two of these. I don't know if they're both Bluebird of Happiness, but I think they are both artisan sign, both the same technique and form. One is a cobalt blue, which I love. It's a very dark, beautiful cobalt blue, $6.50. There's another one, it's a Mediterranean, and it's just, just gorgeous. That's actually Abe's favorite. And it's for six fifty. I'm thinking this is from the ash from the artisan when they're blowing it, but I'm still gonna get it. It's, even if I don't sell it, I'm gonna keep it. All right, let's see what else we can find. <clears throat> oh my gosh, look at these guys. The dogs, salt and pepper shakers, but look at these bunnies. Oh my gosh, these bunnies are cute. They don't have their stoppers though. Neither do these guys, but they're super cute. Yeah, I know. Look, it's got its base. <laughs> it never has a base. Oh, is this a Royal Hager? This looks like a Royal Hager. Let's see if it is. It would be on the bottom. Oh, you know that. And it's made. Hold on. Oh, very gently, very gently. It is, yeah, it is Royal Hager. How much do I want for it without the really bad beads inside? $21. Oh my gosh, hold on. I think that you guys see that. Look at that. Okay, okay, so I was going to pick up this Royal Hager. It's really cool. It did sell for $99, but the problem is, is inside of here, they glued a green cushy thing with marbles. And in order to get them out, it would actually wind up damaging the Royal Hager. So somebody who's actually wanting it like that, I guess it's fine, but not for what I want it for. So this is a pretty green jar. Look at this, guys. 
Very pretty. Like that avocado green. Oh, look at this. Nice cased glass. Actually, it's just, let me reverse paint it actually. Hold on. No, it's cased glass. Very pretty. Eight fifty for both. That's a good price. What do we have here? Okay. I don't. All right. What's that? <laughs> That's just cruel and unusual punishment. It better be cheap. <laughs> Oh, it's twelve fifty. Well, I have to get that because it's super cool. Um, I'm being good today about not picking up boats because I do have a weakness for them. Do I not? Uh -huh. I do. I have a severe weakness for them. That's a nice hammered sugar set. Hmm. Oh, this is cool. With the bowls. Genuine. 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 <laughs> In Calais Stone, handcrafted USA. Isn't that kind of like an alabaster Wouldn't material? Have a, huh? Would that have a lid with it? I don't know. Is this cup or glass? I can't tell. I can't tell either, but there's a really cool piece of art glass back here. Oh, you want to show that to him really quick? That is pretty. For $19.50, it could be yours. Well, mine, not theirs. Sorry, guys. Because you know why? Do you see it? Do you see what I'm seeing? There's a chip in it. Huge oh, chip. Oh, yeah. And it's got a huge schnutz. Yeah. For $19.95, I'm going to put it back. Oh, actually, yeah, we're going to put that back. So, yeah, again, like I said, that's not going to be anybody's. So. There's a, another schnutz there, too. There's a couple of them in there, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, not the best thing. That is super cool. What is this? Oh, it's a candy dish, but it's missing its lid. I keep getting fooled. Minnesota wild rice. I have one of those. I know, that's where I've seen that before. Thought I'd seen something like that before. Mine actually has Minnesota wild rice in it. How old is it? <laughs> Probably as old as that one. No, no the rice. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, it's a Rubik's Cube. Oh my gosh, I mastered this thing when I was a kid. I mastered how to take it apart and put it back together. And that's, by the way, why it looks the way it does, because everybody took them apart and put them back together. <laughs> hmm. It's just a thing. All right, really digging the boat. Oh, yeah, it's plastic though. Otherwise, I would have grabbed them. Oh, look at this. I have one that's done in chrome. It's pretty cool in my kitchen. Hmm. What? What did you find? Oh, it's a weaver's. Mm -hmm. Yeah? It's for the looms, the big looms. Mm -hmm. You'd weave it in and out. Yep. Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty sweet. Oh, new stuff in there. So, guys, if you like what you see and you enjoy and you're having fun with us, please hit that like and subscribe button. Really appreciate it. It helps my channel grow, and I'm trying to grow further on so I can take you guys to more and more places. And if there's other things that you would like to see me do, please let me know, um, and I would be more than happy to take you along with me. 
So as the weather starts to warm up, we will be doing a lot more outdoor hunting also. A lot of yard sales, flea markets, but also what I enjoy doing the most and have done for a very long time is American picking. So, and I do a lot of metal detecting and gem hunting too. So we will be taking you along with us on that too. I hope you enjoy that. Let me know down below if that's something that you're interested in. All right, thank you. Let's keep going. Love you guys. Beautiful harvest nesting. Smoked brown Pyrex bowls, stacking bowls. So cool. So very, very cool. So beautiful. Oh, I like, I like it made that chicken. A nice rooster. Nice chicken green. It's pretty polished on the bottom. Hmm. He is $12. But um, most likely they're probably Asian. China. However you want to put it. Um, but there is a twisted art glass piece here. This one's pretty nice, actually. Um, I am liking that. Especially for Christmas. It's a cool piece. Hmm. Huh. So fifteen dollars for that one, and then we have a, an art glass purse, pink and white, right there. And some pretty cool pieces. Hmm, it's very light. It's good prices on it. Actually, let me see something. So they say they have a Coach wallet back here. Let's see. So there's one thing about Coach, if you want to know if it's actual Coach, is there should be a identification number inside. And there usually is. Um, so that you can actually log it into their site. A friend of mine got me into Coach wallets and purses and I believe this one is a knockoff, but it also has the price of one too, so they're not exactly charging for a real coach, but if you're looking for that one piece that looks like a coach, this one's for 12 bucks, not a bad deal. Then we have the miniature one right here. This one's kind of cute too. Again, not a coach, but super cute. All right, that's how I look at it. Super, super cute. I also have a tendency not to buy from places where they have other purses that are knockoffs, but with their prices there, I think they're pretty much telling people that that's exactly what it is. It's a very little farmhouse, little nook right here. There's some cute stuff in here. Great ideas, actually. I think I'm gonna do that when I go home. So I have that jar and I have that pan. Hot glue or E6000, and off on our way we go. Yes, that was my stomach. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Are there more of them? Well, they're different. This one's signed. This one looks like it's good. These are 950. Possibly signed right there. Let's see. Made in Norway. This one's kind of cool. That's 995. These are, that is literally at retail on that. You said this one's signed too? I think. Yeah. They are. They're signed. I like that one because you could put little votives in it. Oh, this is super cool. This is wood. That almost looks like ivory. Look. It's like an ivory inlay. Doesn't it? Mm. Yeah, or bone. Maybe not ivory, but definitely bone. And then, oh, there's a boot. And there's a flower. I need cookie cutters. I don't have any. Do you have cookie cutters at your house? Um, I don't know. I, don't I used know. to, but 
I thought I used to too, but I can't find them anymore. 40th anniversary piece. It's Fenton. That is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. There's a pink hat for you. I know you didn't just say there was a pink hat for me. Wild thing. <laughs> well, it's better to be the wild thing than be Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow look at this chime that is a cool bell chime that's very cool very neat that's a nice copper horse right there do what oh well it's according to who the artist is and they can go for those prices sure can yeah, we were already over here on this side. Yeah, we just didn't come on the outside here. Oh, it's a mason. Blue wing, that's why. <laughs> Those are really good. Somebody kind of redid that ashtray with a... Is that a 44 millimeter? No, what is that? 30, not 44. No, um, no, oh, what is that military bullet? No, that's much more than that. I obviously I said that it's a military Maybe a bullet. Well, you should know. <laughs> that is a cool owl. <laughs> that is a very cool owl. Hi guys. <laughs> oh, that is a cool little chicken. It's probably gonna be Mexico too or China. Murano style, yeah. It's from China. But they're cute, huh? Do it. It's actually a good one for you too. Take no bull. No, actually I have um somebody doing up my hats for both the companies. This one and my other one. Alright. Alright guys, I'm gonna turn you off because my phone's starting to die down until we find something again, okay? But I just wanted to show you around this place because it is, it's pretty incredible. I really hope you're liking this content. Oh, look, lots of brass and jewelry coming up. Cigarette case, right? Isn't that what that was? Yeah. Looks like. Cig case, oh, $50. I thought that said 50 cents. I was so putting that in my pocket. <laughs> or not my pocket, but you know what I meant. Yeah, the, uh -huh. yes. Basket. Basket. Not my pocket, guys. Not my pocket. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to close down while I can. Um, this is going to be West Germany. Yep, in Germany. You can always tell by the way it's made and how many layers are actually on the brooch itself. It's pretty cool, actually. This is pretty too. Hmm. Got them dead on, that's for sure. Oh, that's incredible. Look at that. Oh. Didn't see a price on that one. Oh, look at the shoe clips. Those are fabulous. Oh, I love jewelry. What else we got back here? Oh, it's like another one from Germany. Oh, made in Germany, $100. Hmm. Hmm. Got the prices dead on. Definitely retail. Oh, I guess she's got the old vintage Christmas ornaments. Honestly, I go to my friend's place for that at the Antique Pit in South Dakota. Hmm.
These are beautiful. Whoever has this booth has a very good eye. I have so much jewelry to put on and clothing. So if you're new to my channel, um, I am new to YouTubing, as you can tell with my filming. Sorry about that. But I had an Etsy shop that I shut down because basically it's Etsy is just, I like to have a company that actually is there whenever you need them. And they just weren't there like they should be. Um, that was my opinion on it. Um, but anyway, I'm trying to transfer everything over to eBay. So I still have like 500 items to come over. So. <coughs> Excuse me. 500 items still to come over. So, oh, look at this depression glass piece. Oh, I like this. Um, you, can you pull out my little glow stick in there? <laughs> it's inside my purse. Thank you, sir. Oh, there we go. She glows. Not as much as I thought she would, but there she goes. Yeah, that's a nice looking ashtray. That'd be nice, actually. That's a cigar. That cigar and pipe would be for that one. That's a nice shop. Very nice little shop. Oh, these are cute. But no room for me for resale, unfortunately. Oh, here's a bunch of those bluebirds. Oh, look at these little guys. These guys are super cute. Sunshine Promises. Huh? Awesome. Yeah. What's this say? Let's see, Sweden, Swedish. There's a Swedish one. This is really cute. This little trinket box, Titan art glass. Hmm. It's not China, so it's good. It's not Asian. It's actually a better glass. But this one back here has got me curious. This one is. Did you see this? This is really cool. Bluebird, this is signed. And check this out, guys. How cool is that? That is just really cool. And $10. Oh, that's kind of tempting. You know what? That's a, it's pretty cool. It comes with a little flower on it. Oh. The problem is, is these have a, the sell rate is like off and on. Here's love. Here's lovebirds. Bluebirds, fifteen dollars. This one's also signed, nineteen ninety two. This is a W Ward. His stuff sells pretty well. There's another one. There we go. Little bluebird, happy little bluebird. Hmm, fifteen dollars. This is, I think, this is out of Fayetteville. Yeah, Fayetteville, Arkansas. I sometimes like these smaller nooks than I do the larger ones. That's a good looking bull. <laughs> Did you see this? <laughs> okay, guys, you see this, right? She is stepping on top of the dragon. But look at the dragon's eyes. <laughs> this is funny how they look. Yeah. All right. Now, if we shut off, it's because my phone ran out of time. But I really hope that you guys are enjoying this. Um, I really wanted to show you this. Now, again, this might be in two parts. Um, so if you see this on a second bout, and I'm saying two parts, you'll know why. Because it was two parts. So, um, yeah. Ooh, we have marbles. So, let's see if we have any marbles that glow. Do we? Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, so the last time we were in here, we picked up a set of marbles, and one of them glowed, and to find out, it was just rubber. 
And yes, we did put it back. We did, we did not, did not allow me to take it home. <laughs> I think somebody lost their marbles. But I bet you these guys glow. Oh, look at that, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Great piece of uh, depression glass right there. I love when they glow bright like that. Oh, are these the Napco ones? I wonder. Oh, these are definitely the remakes. Wow. So this is what you have to watch for, guys. See, it's like trying to replace the, the Napco and the winking Santas. And as much as I love my friend Deb, I am not coming home with another truckload. <laughs> Unless it was something she was missing and she really needed it, I'd probably pick it up then. Oh wow, look at the lilies. This is Germany. Look at this. Yeah, Germany. Beautiful Majelica plate. There you go. All day long. Germany. Oh, look how delicate these guys are. Wow. $10 a piece. They're, yeah, they're priced separately. This is beautiful. Look at this. My, my phone is not showing how beautiful this is. A Clemson. And yeah, it's a Clemson. That is gorgeous. Wow. There's some more horsies down there. Oh, this is some really... Ooh. Hey, arms, can I borrow you? <laughs> you want the green one? Of course, right there. Oh, that one? Yeah. Look at the flex in this, guys. This is so cool. Now, I know this isn't a fence. Oh, it's not a Murano. But it is marked right here. Oh, I need to, I can't tell what the marking is. But that is beautiful. What is the price on that? There we go. Twenty bucks. Twenty dollars for green and gold. Hold on guys, let me see if this is something we need to pick up. Oh, there's a hair. Pretty angel. Let her put her back down. Put her down. She's very pretty. Very, very pretty. All right. One last aisle coming up, and we are done for the day. <laughs> Poor Abe's feet are hurting. He works outside most of the time. So. He gets enough exercise, and I pull him out to come hang with me. And he's such a good champ about it. Really is. Mm, I've already been in that one. Yeah. Yeah, my battery's starting to die. I got 5%. All right, guys. So I'm about to die. So let me just end it on this. Um, let me brighten my... <laughs> 